Someone asked, where is it confirmed? It's confirmed on True School Sports. That's where it's confirmed. That's where it's fucking confirmed. It's on True School Sports. And only True School Sports. It ain't on Dan Raphael. It ain't on Coppinger. So you guys can wait and they can give you the uh, announcement. when They can give you the announcement when, and you can choose to believe it then. But I'm telling you now, I'm already ahead of them. I'm telling you now. Just just like I already proved I was ahead of you, ahead of Dan Raphael the first time, I'm, showing you, I'm telling you guys right now. That's when it's going to happen. November 19th, Crawford Spence. It's a done deal. You know? Dan said it was penciled in, but he didn't say it was a done deal. I'm telling you it's a done deal. Watching true school sports. It's personal between me and you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, it's like we've been waiting such a long time to make this video. It's literally been years that I've been I've been waiting to make this video, but you guys could uh, take a deep breath, sigh of relief. You guys can uh, get, the, get the monkey off your back, get the chip off your shoulder. Now look, it's really not any news to me and it really shouldn't be any news to anybody who follows True School Sports because as I told you guys on August 26th, 20 days ago from the time of this video, nearly three weeks ago from the time of this video, I told you guys the fight was happening. It was a done deal. I told you guys the date. Um, I told you guys all that good stuff. Um, some of you guys chose to believe me and, and some of you guys chose to throw salt on my name and let's wait and let's see. But yeah, listen, no matter what side you pick, the truth, the truth doesn't have feelings. And Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, as it's been reported as of 1.19 p.m. Eastern Standard Time by M M Michael Coppinger, they have agreed to terms for the potential fight. And the date is, as I said it was, November the 19th. 2022. So let's let's get into it and let's dissect this little report from my commentary because there are some interesting details in here that um, we should discuss. Now, it is worth noting that uh, according to the report that basically Terrence Crawford had to take short money. Of, of um, he, he obviously had to, had to take short money, but the, the, the deal does include the fact that there is a bilateral rematch clause in which the loser could exercise the rematch clause and the winner will earn the majority of the money. So um, there's no there's no news as far as splits are concerned, but I would assume, or I would take an educated guess more so, that Taylor's Crawford is getting around 40% of the revenue or something like that. And he believes that he's going to beat, uh, he, he believes that he's going to beat Earl Spence, become undisputed, and he'll come back and he'll get the um, lion's share of the money in the, in, in, in the rematch. So look, uh, we're gonna have plenty of time to talk shit and, and take sides and, and have a lot of fun and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be going live for this later on tonight so make sure you guys tune in. Uh, I'm gonna say 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Pacific. We'll, we'll do a time that's fair, just, and equitable for all the time zones uh, in the United States of America and we'll talk about this there and we'll have our fun. But uh, let me let me just say you know it's been a long time coming. You know there, there, I obviously have I still have some feelings about how how we got to this point. But we got to this point. The, the fight looks like it's going to happen. The fighters are, have agreed to terms. The networks are heavily interested. So there really is nothing really standing in the way of this fight. It's, it's going to happen November 19th. So book book your flights, book your hotels, book your reservations, get all that stuff done because uh, you know, it looks like Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence will be squaring off with the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. And it's a great day for boxing. I think, I think all boxing fans should rejoice, whether you're a neutral, whether you're a, a, you know, a Crawford fan, whether you're a Spence fan. I, I really do think all boxing fans should rejoice because, you know, this is a fight that um, we've been waiting for for so long. This is a fight where you got two very talented fighters. You got a guy in Earl Spence Jr. who has one of the best volume jabs in the sport, one of the most educated jabs in the sport, one of the most well-conditioned fighters in the sport, taking on a guy in Terrence Crawford who has 
those things as well, but he also has the ability to counter punch on the move, to sharpshoot, to switch hit, to outbox from both stances. You know, he's a great fighter. Both of them are great fighters. This is a great fight for boxing. And I, and, and what I really want to encourage boxing fans to do, I'm never going to tell you what to do, but I want to encourage you, suggest, um, happily suggest that, you know, we've been complaining about this fight for a long time and it not happening. So I think now the boxing fans got to come out and support this fight. You know, if you if you if, if you can't make it out to Las Vegas when the fight happens, um, because that that's what they're saying is gonna happen, as I already knew. If um you can't make it out to Las Vegas, then you gotta buy the pay per view. And if you you know you know, and if you can't make it out to Las Vegas and buy a ticket and to support this event, then then you should be out there. If you have a YouTube channel, uh, whether it's big a big channel or a small channel or uh, whatever level channel. Go out there and cover this event. Go out there and cover this fight and tell your friends, tell your family about Crawford versus Spence because this is a fight that uh, we've been complaining about for a long time. So now that, you know, all parties involved have gotten to a place to where they, they, they believe they can make the fight happen and they've made the fight happen, you know, we have to do our part as boxing fans and, 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 and really cover this fight and, and give it its just due because this is, this is very significant. This is, this is an undisputed in one of the original eight weight classes, and you know it's always great to be undisputed when you can go when you can go undisputed in one of the original eight weight classes. It makes it that much greater. You know what I'm saying? So it's a I'm really excited about it. I knew it was happening. You know, I was a little bit worried. I'm not gonna lie to you because it, it was a long time, but they finally you know got got something out there about this fight. So I'm, I'm happy. But listen, this just just this this should just go to show everybody. You should never ever doubt the untouchable True School Sports Empire. You you gotta you gotta listen. I don't come on here. I don't make I don't make things up for views or clout or clicks. I, I tell you guys how it is. You can take it or leave it. You can like it or love it, but it's the truth, you know. And and that's what it is. So um yeah, uh, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence Jr., November nineteenth, Las Vegas, Nevada. Rejoice, boxing fans. You know Earl Spence Jr. has had a long way to get back to this point from the car crash. You know, he, he's coming off a great stoppage victory over Ugas, his first stoppage victory since he stopped Carlos Ocampo. So he looks like he's back to his old ways. And, and, and I'm glad he had the Ugas performance because if Crawford beats him, which I think he will, in devastating fashion, I might add, I don't want there to be no excuses. He's coming off a great win against a, a, a fantastic fighter in Ugas and, and, and vice versa. If, if, if Earl Spence beats Crawford, then I don't want to hear any, any excuses. I won't be making any excuses, but I don't want to hear any excuses from the Crawford fans either because there are a lot of... Deranged cross Crawford fans. I don't even like a lot of the Terrence Crawford fan base on YouTube. If I'm, if I'm being honest, that's just a god honest truth. But I do like Terrence Crawford. I love him. He's one of my favorite fighters, and I'm happy to see him back in the ring uh, later this year. It'll, it'll be about a year layoff, but no excuses. Um, I think he's gonna get the job done no matter what, and we're gonna see why. We're gonna see why on November 19th. I, I believe personally. I believe we're going to see why. It took so long to make this fight happen and why the goalposts kept moving over and over and over again. And as I've stated on many occasions, this is the American version of Amir Khan versus Kell Brook. Terrence Crawford is Kell Brook. Earl Spence is Amir Khan. I'll see y'all November 19th and I'll see y'all on the live later. You know, hit that like button. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you know. Don't really matter. It don't matter if you're a Spence fan and you hate me or love me. And it don't matter if you're a Crawford fan and you hate me or love me. But you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dangus. So until next time, take care, guys. And I think uh, True School Sports, he's the truth. One of the best YouTube, the best. Ooh, the, the number one. Number one. Brandon, you've been there, man, and you're building up a good following Thank with you. us. Thank you. And I'm proud to be a part of what you're doing, too. Mm -hmm. You are spectacular. And, uh, you know. Thank you, man. All the best through school boxing and keep up the good work.